We are having a show exhibit opening for the art show called Direct Experience Cancer and Art, and it will be Friday night, uh, September 13th from 6.30 to 8.30. The public's invited to attend. We hope everybody will come out and support the Art Center and the artists. There are 14 different artists who are included, and it's a wide variety of different types of artwork, um, a lot of mixed media. There's um, jewelry and woodworking and it will be a great show for the community to get to see a lot of different types of things. Uh, the show opens on the 13th and it runs through October 31st so um, you have a month and a half to come and take a look even if you can't come Friday night and our gallery hours are Tuesday through Friday from 9:30 to 5:30. I'm Carol Nutson Tinsley, and I am the curator of this show that is uh, a show, an exhibit of artists that are cancer survivors. And um, anyway, we are very excited about having the show here. This is our third show, and uh, we're invited to come to the Anderson Art Center. Well, after I found out I had uh, cancer and um, Going through chemo and so forth, I did not want to paint or didn't feel like painting because you want to sleep quite a bit when you're taking chemo. And um, my friends, uh, especially my art friends in Greenville, were concerned I wasn't painting, but you didn't feel like it for quite a while. So they were determined that they were going to try to help me get motivated to start painting again. And so they went upstairs to my studio and got a lot of supplies and brought them downstairs to, because I didn't go upstairs, uh, to, uh, they covered plastic on the table, dining room table and on the floor because I'm a little messy artist. And so anyway, um, they brought supplies down and eventually I got in there and started to paint a little bit, but it took a, a while to really get motivated to do that. And so another friend of mine said, well, I think, you know, Carol, maybe you should get together and find other artists that have gone through cancer and are cancer survivors or still maybe going through the, the process or the journey. And uh, so I ended up uh, finding, I'm gonna e-blast all the artists and people that we know in the area that are artists. And she did that and about 30 artists responded to me. And so out of that 30 artists, I um, then emailed them and got their uh, bios and images from them. And, um, and I decided on about 15 artists. We had about 15 the first show. I just was amazed I had people that were of all media, which was wonderful. And uh, we have, like you can tell here at this show, is a wood turner, paper making, painting, drawing, photography that has been uh, embellished with uh, Prismacolor pencils, um, mixed media, and some installations that are really most creative, and jewelry. And it's just been a, a wonderful group of people. So we had our first meeting at my house and I invited them to come. We didn't know each other except I knew a couple of them. Um, we came to my house and we decided that we wanted to try to have some shows. It was also a time that really uplifted me and made me feel more of a sense of peace and took my mind off of my cancer journey. And that was just really wonderful to start feeling, you know, positive about this. And I had such a positive team of doctors. There was no way I could not feel that I was going to get over this and felt really positive about my situation. I felt like, well, maybe, you know, uh, gathering these artists together, maybe this would also help them feel a sense of uh, purpose and uh, being, doing something meaningful for themselves and for others to see and share because there's not anybody, I don't think, 
in this United States or the world that has not been touched by cancer, either with a relative, a very good friend, somebody in their family. I think it's really been a valuable thing for us to, to do this together and uh, create these exhibits, and they've been so you know, excited about doing it themselves. Yes, we would love to have more members of the Art Center, which uh, it includes certain benefits like discount on classes and things like that, but what it really does is show that you are a supporter of the arts and believe in the arts in our community. And we have different membership levels from student levels to family levels, um, joint uh, dual membership if you're an artist and you want to join the Artist Guild as well as the Art Center, different levels of membership. And it all goes back into this Art Center to help help it to continue to thrive and offer shows like this to the public.